Hey guys, I am the math professor Kyle Martin. And in this video, we're going to try to find the domain of these functions. All right. But before we do that, a quick reminder, I want you to subscribe to this channel. If this video helps you, if videos in the past have helped you, go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button. And when you do, also leave a comment down below saying, hey, I subscribed. All right. I usually respond to all those comments and I'd be happy to respond to yours as well. OK, but in this video, um, we have we're going to go over our two cases when we can and can't have certain parts of the domain. Um, and then we're going to go over these four different functions. So there's uh, timestamps in the video player down below. Click whichever one you need and let's jump into it. All right, starting with our two cases, we have uh, these two here. First off, we cannot divide by zero. You've done this in your calculator before where you've tried to divide by zero and it says error. It doesn't work. All right. Same thing is true here. Um, now, I have a couple of different examples up here. The first one says f of x equals 4x plus 3. Is there any time where this is going to be divided by zero? No, there's not. Okay, no matter what I plug in for x, it's never going to be a problem where I'm going to divide by zero. Okay, so this is actually good. Every single part of the domain will work there. However, in the bottom one, 1 over 2 plus x, that's going to be divided by zero when x equals negative 2. Right? 2 plus a negative 2 is zero, so then I get 1 over zero. So this one actually... Um, it will not work for all of our x's that we input. Okay, our second case, you cannot take the square root of a negative. All right, so again, some more examples here. If I have the square root of x squared plus 7, this is okay. There's nothing I can plug in for x that's going to give me a negative radicand, the part inside your square root. Okay, if you think about it, if I plug in a negative and square it, if I plug in 0 and square it, or even a positive and square it, it's always going to give me something positive here. And if, when I add 7, it's going to be that much more positive. So this actually works out. Every single x will work when I plug it in. In the bottom one, though, the square root of 7 plus x, if you think about this, I can plug in negative 7. It's not like this one. Um, I can have the square root of 0. That'd be 0. That's fine. However, I cannot have the square root of something negative. Again, your calculator says error. It doesn't work. All right, so for example, if I said x was negative 8, then I'd have the square root of a negative 1, which we just cannot take the square root of. So this does not work for all of our x's. Um, so we're going to show you how to write some of these domains here coming up. All right, first example says f of x equals x plus 4. Um, if you think about our two cases where we cannot divide by 0 and we cannot have a negative and a square root, that's never going to happen in this problem, okay? Um, no matter what I plug in for x, I'm not dividing by 0. It's not a square root anywhere in this problem. So to say the domain for this one, we're just going to say the domain is all real numbers, or the way you can write this is from negative infinity. Remember, our domains are x's, so it goes from negative infinity all the way to the right to positive infinity like that. Okay, for example two, I took my uh, x plus four like I had in my first one, and now I put it um, under one, okay? So it's one over x plus four. So this time, this is gonna involve our first case where we are gonna be dividing by zero potentially. And we're gonna be dividing by zero when x equals negative four. Negative four plus four, of course, is zero. So we have to say that our domain is gonna include all of our values except when x equals negative four. That's the only time when this problem is gonna have a zero that we're dividing by. So to do that, I'm gonna still start at negative infinity Okay, negative infinity, but I have to stop when my x is negative 4. So I'm going to say negative infinity all the way up until negative 4. Okay, I can get as close as I, as I want to. So it's going to get a parenthesis, not a bracket. We're not including negative 4. And then we have to union that with the other side of negative 4. So we took a little break there at negative 4. Go up as, as close as we can to it, skip it, and then go to the other side of it as close as we can, all the way now to positive infinity. All right, example three, when we have a square root, this is now a square root of x plus four, we cannot have it equal a negative, the inside, that's called the radicand. So we want to figure out every time that when we insert an x value, this becomes negative. And we have to exclude that from our domain. Okay, so I'm looking here that this is going to be negative. Um, let's see, if x was negative four, it would be zero. That's still not negative. Um, but if it was less than negative four, like if it was a negative five, then this would become negative one. If it was negative six, it'd be a negative two. Anything less than negative four is when this is going to be negative, All right? So to write that, um, well, first off, to figure it out, if you get something a little more complicated inside your square root, to figure it out, you can say x plus four, set your radicand, the part inside 
and set it greater than or equal to, that's what you want, greater than or equal to zero. And when you do that here, of course, it's gonna be x is greater than or equal to negative four when you subtract the four over. And so your domain that will work is all the x's that are greater than or equal to negative four. So to write the domain for this, you're just gonna say a domain including negative four, so bracket, negative four, all the way, all the numbers that are uh, bigger than negative four, so all the way to infinity. And it'd be bracket negative four, infinity, infinities always get parentheses. All right, example four is kind of a combination of our last couple, where now we're gonna take one and divide it by the square root of x plus four. If you remember back to number two, it was one over x plus four, and our last one was the square root of x plus four, so we're putting those two together. So we know that this cannot be on the inside, it cannot be um, negative, so we know that it's at least gonna be this, the domain from negative in four, including negative four all the way to infinity. But now I also cannot divide by zero. So we have to look at when is this gonna also be zero? And that's when it is negative four. Negative four plus four is zero. The square root of zero is zero. And we would be dividing one uh, divided by zero. Okay, so instead of including my four going to infinity, since negative four itself is going to be zero here, I'm instead gonna say my domain for this last one is not including negative four, so it gets parentheses now, but still going to infinity. And every one of those x values will work in this function. Hey guys, I hope you found this video helpful about finding the domain of these different functions. Uh, remember, subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful, and I will uh, respond to you if you leave a message in the comment saying that you subscribed to my channel. Thanks guys.